So now coming back to the next thing, like you know, recently people have realized that personal branding is one of the very very important. It's all about how do you showcase yourself into the people. Like you know, if you have a personal branding, the opportunities coming to you is more and more is much higher. And also, uh, we need to build our own social media credibility, right? So, what do you say to the people who are graduating or who are pursuing the graduation who wanted to have their, you know, personal branding and social media credibility? And also, the people who are working in the corporate sector. What's your take okay. on? It? So, I think for building a personal branding, there are four pillars. Number mm-hmm. one, let's suppose I'm teaching public speaking. Okay, so I've taught several people so far, but to this date also, I keep on learning new books, new mm-hmm. strategies. I keep mm-hmm. on taking new programs. I keep on meeting new coaches. It's not like I'm done. You are never done with love learning. So you have to number one is you have to keep on learning new things. Now I'll sh- I'll tell how does it affect your personal brand. So you mm-hmm. can only share things when you know things. You can Absolutely. only give what you have. right you can't give what you don't have i've invested several lakhs rupees in my own personal growth and investment invested you know hundreds of rupees hundreds and thousands of rupees in my own personal growth that's why i'm able to you know give that kind of value to other people also had i not invested in myself i i would not be confident in my own self right yeah. so yeah. Uh, always learn mm. it might be learning on your own it also means investing with uh, experts because you know this that if you want to climb on the top of himalayas there are two ways you can actually take a map and go and the other way you can actually have a sherpa or a guide hmm. to guide you on the way right so i think once somebody has already climbed the top somebody has been there done that he can guide you better so always you know learning from great mentors is a great way of you know second is the second point is when you have learned something don't restrict it to, your, to yourself share it with other people that yeah. is the biggest form of personal branding i give out some of my really exclusive content for free in the form of articles in the form of videos in the form of podcast because i really want to give 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 because i know when i'm giving so much it will come back it will come back to me in some or the other form and it does come back to me it has been coming back to me so i don't keep this in my mind that i'll restrict my knowledge you don't have to restrict your knowledge ever you have to actually give it to people share it write articles share it on various social media sites if you can't do it every day do it once a week if you can't do it once a week do it once a year if you once a month if you can't do it once a month do it once in two months but have some schedule some system some way of sharing your content consistently with people third is training people now sharing is you share things passively now training is when you actively go and train people okay mm. you go actively you find your own mentees who are ready to learn from the, you and you actually you know train them hand hold them in this journey just like your trainer did for you do it for other people make them the expert they want to become make give them the confidence that they are lacking right now so you know hand hold them in this journey and the fourth thing is keep on innovating mm you don't innovate if you don't bring in something new people uh, will stop noticing you they will stop feeling uh, you know that you're doing something amazing so keep on try to do things in a different manner be playful whenever yeah. you're teaching sharing learning doing things so i think these four things they work excellent because see when you're sharing articles your sh- social media post all these things people notice you when you're training people again you're connected with people let's suppose i trained a person okay i i won't name it, take his name uh, because of privacy reasons but i you know he was such a shy introverted and underconfident person and right now he's leading a team in a big technical company so when you know that really he brought in new people to me because i had given him certain skills 
that he felt very confident about so he he's doing my personal branding for me now okay mm-hmm. and then innovating see a lot there are a lot of coaches they're doing things in a certain way in a certain style you try to be different you try to bring your own flavor in the courses that you're teaching in the programs that you're taking in the things that you're doing do it a little different i'm not saying just be radical in your innovation also you mm-hmm. see everybody learns things slowly innovation is a process i'm not saying to just uh innovate radically just do small small innovations whatever mm-hmm. you can and bring them to people so people will start you know appreciating you they will start acknowledging your work and that's how you build a strong personal brand you know you you're being authentic to people uh just never try to you know hide things always try to have a strong connection with people always try to be authentic uh, so you know when you are authentic in your words in your speech in what you're offering then people start recognizing 